This is the Llewellyn deck. I have trimmed it. These are slightly smaller than your average set of tarot cards. You would just treat these like you would playing cards. They're thin, uh, a little waxy, but very flexible. So you can just treat these directly like you would standard playing cards. Here's how I recommend would shuffle. You're going to break it in half, let this half fall here, and then just do a shuffle like this. And you can see it's a very good mix. And do not bridge them, obviously, but it's a very good mix, you can see, of the cards. I would do a standard shuffle first. Then if you're going to do reversals, I would pull this half out, reverse it, and put it on bottom or top. I would do a little overhand shuffle action. And then when done, I would do one more standard riffle. As you can see, you've got a good separation on this and then let the user cut it and then you're done. So that's a good mix of cards. What I don't like is a standard riffle followed by a standard riffle. I'm not a big fan of a standard riffle which will intertwine each card to every third or fourth or tenth card depending upon how you did it. Uh, ideally a standard riffle would look like this but do not do this with your tarot cards because this will rip them up. Uh, ideally, I mean, you're using a riffle, you're going to mix uh, the cards intertwined here. And you can see that like every single card is intertwined with every other card. Except for the bottom where I messed it up and the, the gap, etc, etc. But you get the general idea of how this is done. So every card is basically just moved by one. Now if you do that again, you have the possibility of moving all the cards back to their original position or moving it down one I don't think it's that thorough so my recommendation from personal experience is to do one riffle as you can see a good mix just like gravity do it and then I would either cut them do a series of cuts maybe or just do your overhand shuffle to do an overhand shuffle, you're just going to hold it like this. You're going to grab packets off the top and let it fall. Grab more packets and let it fall. And that is an overhand shuffle. And that gets good separation. Once the overhand shuffle is done, do one more riffle. You can see good mix. And then you're done. And then let your current or user cut the deck. And then you just start pulling off the top or pull from random positions.